all right first in search bar search for control panel and in control panel change the view by from category to large icons after that scroll down and select windows defender firewall after that select allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall select change settings here and then select allow another app click on browse on pad so you can find the application or the game for example here i did install it on drive c i need to locate it and select the application that i want to pass it through firewall so i'm gonna select rogue company here and in network types make sure that you select private and public both and then select ok and add so you can add the application we have two applications here one is for anti cheat i'm gonna select that too and after that select ok these are necessary ports that they need to be open for playing this game and to understand that they are open or not you need to check them in ping.eu and udp port checker that you can see here you need to check uh, tcp and udp ports and if one of them are open because i don't know what's your connection for me it's udp my connection is udp so if udp ports are open it's okay but if you don't know if your connection is tcp or udp you need to check both check them and if you see they are closed in one and open on another one it's fine but if they are closed on both you need to call your isp first to make sure that they didn't block any port and then if they said it's okay it's fine you need to port forward on your router you need to enter your ip address and check one of the ports and you see here it's closed on tcp because my connection is udp but i'm gonna check one udp port and as you can see udp port is open so i don't have problem for playing but if they are closed at both so you need after calling your isp you need to go to your router and port forwarding and i can port forward for udp and tcp at the same time sometimes it might be different and you need to port for do port forwarding for tcp and udp separately you need to enter ports for example here start port number and end port number and you need to enter your local ip address for example here i need to find the ip that my pc is connected to my router with that ip and to find that you need to go to windows settings and then select network and internet i have two connection here but for you you just need to select on properties for the connection that you're using for internet for example here and you can find ip address here after that save the settings and restart your router and then everything will be fine all right now it's time to show you how to fix it on ps4 first of all you need to test nat type on ps4 and for that you need to test internet connection on network and after that you need to make sure that your nat type is 2 because if your nat type is 3 it might get problem for playing games or joining games or anything else like that so if your nat type is not too you need to call your isp and ask them to fix this problem for you also the connection speed is really important if your connection for example on your phone or your pc is 2 megabits per second you need to check that out on ps4 as well and if it's too slow for example you have 2 megabits on your phone but on ps4 it's 100 kilobits you know it's so slow so it's uh, the problem is with your ps4 and you need to use another dns because most of the times dns can fix uh, low upload speed and you can use some dns different dns that i did put them in the description to see if they can fix your upload speed or not after you did fix every problem with the nat type and upload and download speed you can keep watching this tutorial Alright, next step is port forwarding, you need to check the ports for this game on PS4 and for that you need to go to internet browser. If you can't find it on home just press R1 so you can go to library and in applications you can find internet browser just press X button to start the application. These ports are necessary ports for playing Rogue Company on PS4 and you need to check them for TCP or UDP. My connection is UDP, but if you don't know if your connection is TCP or UDP, you can check both of them in the, these two websites that I'm going to show you. First one is ping.eu, you can check TCP ports here, 
and the second one is UDP port scanner here you can see the address here you can check the ports for UDP in this website so test a few ports for TCP and UDP if they were closed in one for example they are closed on TCP but they are open on UDP so you are all fine you don't need to do anything else but if they are closed on TCP and UDP it means you have problem and you need to do port forwarding but before that you need to check firewall on your router for example in this website you can see I have problem for TCP port but if I test it on UDP you need to enter your IP address here which you can see in the top of the screen in ping.eu and enter the port number here you can see the ports are open on UDP so I don't have problem but if you have problem for ports or even if you don't have problem for ports but you still have problem for playing we need to go to router settings most of the times router IP address is this but sometimes it's different it might be different 0.1 at the end or 1.1 or it might be different you need to check it on your router behind it or on the box or if you don't know how to find it just google it and if you didn't change username and password it's admin by default in your router settings you need to disable firewall i can find it in advanced setup it might be different for you you just need to take a look and go to the settings so you can find it and disable it after you did disable that also you can try to disable spi as well after that save the settings and restart your router and ps4 and then try to play again you might fix the problem here but if you still had problem it's better to open the ports for UDP and TCP on your router and for that you need to find NAT option or port forwarding option or something like that on your router you need to check it out because it might be different in name you can see here I can choose any name that I want to and protocol I can choose UDP and TCP which means all you can choose them at the same time but it might be different maybe on your router you need to do it different separately and here is stored port number for example 9999 for end port number but local IP address this is the address that your PS4 is using for connecting to your router and you can find it by going to settings and then select network and after that select view connection status and from there you can find your ps4 ip address so find that and enter your ip address in local ip address and then save the settings all right now it's time to show you how to fix it on xbox sorry for quality of the picture because i don't have xbox but in xbox first of all you need to go to network settings and then select set up wireless network or weird network and you need to check current network status you need to make sure your NAT type is not strict because if your NAT type is it means that it's NAT type 3 and you will get problem for playing joining other players and anything else like that you need to make sure that your NAT type is open or at least moderate and for moderate NAT type if it's not like that you need to call your ISP to fix the problem if your NAT type is moderate and you still have problem so keep watching this tutorial these are necessary ports for playing on xbox and how to check the open ports on xbox or your network and how to make them open for playing rogue company i will show you how to do that but before that i'm gonna show a tip about nintendo switch so you can skip the video to the time that it's going to show up on the screen so you can start learning from there Alright, let's go for Nintendo Switch. On Nintendo Switch, first of all, test your connection and see if you have NAT type B or A. But if your NAT type is C, it means your NAT type is 3 and you will get a lot of problems for playing. So first of all, if you have NAT type C, it's better to call your ISP that you're using the internet for your Nintendo and ask them to fix your NAT type problem. After that if you still have problem for playing on Nintendo Switch and servers are fine everything is fine just keep watching this video. These are necessary ports for playing Rogue Company on Nintendo Switch and they need to be open 
at least for TCP or UDP and if you don't know what's your connection it's fine just keep watching this tutorial just write them down somewhere and I will show you how to check them and how to fix them on your router go to the router settings and for that you need to search the address of your router for example here if you don't know what's your router IP address you just need to google it and find it easy username and password if you didn't change that most of the time it's admin admin depend on your router it might be with a different name in a different place it's going to be something like port forwarding NAT NAT options something like that in advanced setup just find it and try to open the ports for your console in some routers you need to check protocol for UDP and TCP separately but here I can choose also it will open the ports for both and you can start the port number for example 9000 here and end port number 9999 and local IP address you need to check it out on your Xbox or Nintendo Switch and enter the IP address here then save the settings and you restart your router it will fix the problem.